big one, Mount Halifax. It's been on the list for a while. Just up near Rolling Stone, north of Townsville. Check it out. Whoa, what a beast. Hope, thousand meters. Hopefully it's not in the clouds when we get up there. Yeah, it's a couple of clouds today, but when we hit it tomorrow, it's gonna be beautiful. Beautiful. You, you. We're ready to go. This is the start of the track. Make sure you park on the correct side of the signs because that is a property that is used. Yep. We need to get trucks in and out. Lots of people doing the wrong thing, hence all the rocks and the many, many signs. So no parking, no parking on that side either. Right, oh, we're here at the base of the hike. Got to fill out the little book, um, book in here. So we're going for a little overnighter up here. It's going to be epic. Mount Halifax. See how we go. You. Let's go. Start of this track may look familiar. We've done Rope Falls. That's where you start. As you can see, the first part of the track is pretty easy going, nice and flat. Uh, we've only just started out. It's a pretty well defined track. Uh, so, yeah, we're on the go. We're on the move. Uh, we're running about roughly 18 kilos each today. We've got all the comforts on board. <laughs> all the comforts. <laughs> yeah, because we're sort of only pushing in a certain way and setting up base camp for the night. Um, we decided we would go all out and make sure we're really comfortable. So, yep, we bought everything. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally everything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it should be good. And then we'll break out our day pack tomorrow for the summit. Make it nice and easy for us. Well, <laughs> easier than carrying overnight bags. Anyway, we'll keep you posted. Alright, uh, this is the point. Decisions are made. <laughs> if you're not sort of half prepared, then maybe have a think about it. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're just coming up on our first creek crossing. Rhonda's got the wine out already. <laughs> really for the wine, baby. <laughs> it just ripped it out of Okay, so about, oh, not quite a kilometre in. Been walking for about 15 minutes. And we're at our first creek crossing. It's a nice low creek crossing. Yeah, this time of year we're in um, our dry season. So, yeah, it's um, quite low still. So we'll quite easily get across this one. And then on to the next one. You. Just coming up on this next beautiful little spot. This is the base of Gorge Falls. You see down here, absolutely stunning little swimming hole. Um, we're not going to show you too much of this first section. Um, we've done this a couple of times and we'll drop our link from our last trip up here in, in the description. But um, yeah, check that out if you want a bit more detailed stuff um, on this first section. But um, it was nice down there. Yeah, it looks amazing. This winter, I'm so sweaty. We're sweaty, you could probably jump straight in, but yeah, we got to push on. You pushing on 1.3 kilometers, 1.3 oh, kilometers, probably 1.4 from the car. But... And how long did it take us? 25. 25. Nice little stroll, nice and easy. Without a pack, you could do it heaps quicker. Yeah, 15 rope mm. swings there, absolutely stunning. We'll push on. Let's go. It's coming up on our next point of significance. This one's Gorge Falls. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me have a look up here. Look at that. Very nice. Hmm. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Hotter. Oh. Yeah, let's give you a bit of a look at that. Absolutely stunning little part of the track this one. Gorge Falls. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming up on the famous archway just before Rope Falls. Hey. Yeah, this is a little cracker swimming spot. 
Okay, you just got yeah, so there's a larch way, natural arch. Up through here and on the rope. Making some good time. Hey. Making some good time. Yeah. Uh, Not doing too bad. How far have we come? Uh 1.7. 1 1.7 and 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Nice. Oh, and here we are, rope falls. That's two options, you got a left hand side. And you got the ropes on the right hand side. Little update, how are you feeling? Good. Sweaty. Very good. sweaty. Yeah, not a lot of breeze in here. Not a lot of breeze, but yeah, good so far. Yeah. Just taking it steady. Let's have a look around here. Which side do you want to go? Let's have a look at this side. I haven't done the ropes before. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you can see there. Just follows the ropes around. Do you want to go first? You're doing amazing. Yeah, it's quite easy around that side. <laughs> there you go, my turn. I'm get a little bit bumpy. Oh, uh, top of rope falls. And we start the ascent. Oh, we love ascents, don't we? Don't mind my heavy breathing. Just showing you a little bit of incline that we're dealing with here. <sighs> Track's not too bad. It's just steep not and we're bad. heavy. <sighs> just up and up and up we go. Alright, oh, no, 2.5 kilometers. We get this beautiful bit of flat spot. And oh. It is welcome relief. Look at the sweat. This Look, is real. That's real. Uh, it's, it's, June. it's only a little reprieve because we're going up again. And up and up and up. Once we get to the Loop Falls track, we'll give you an update on altitude gain. Um, but for now, we're just going to enjoy this little bit of flatness. Yep. Hopefully, we get a camp that just sits flat. A little bit wider though. A bit wider would be nice. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, we found our little friend. He's quite often doing the track. It's pretty cool. We've got 168 metres to Loop Falls. So it's not the turn off to Loop yet. He's very friendly. You are very friendly, but you've cut yourself, cut mate. Cut on the eye, poor fella. Hello. <laughs> So, as I said earlier, we, um, we've done this track before, it's fairly informative, so if you want to check that out, um, that'll pretty much cover all the detail on the first section. Um, we'll pick it up from the actual Loop Falls turn off, what we wanted to do when we are looking to do this walk, there wasn't a lot of information about the camp inside of it, so we, uh, we're packing in as you can see. Do an overnighter, so we just want to share with you what that sort of looks like and um, what camping options they are. That's not too far yep. <laughs> with the packs on. So. You can absolutely do it in a day without your packs. Yeah. Okay, we've made it to the Loop Falls turn off. Uh, it's about 450 meters back to Rope Falls and 650 to Flat Rock. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good time at the moment. Oh, Wanda's just gearing up. Hopefully she doesn't fall down the hill there. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it on is quite the challenge. Um, some beautiful big bird's nest here, absolutely stunning. And a great little spot to have a little rest. So we've just had a little rest and a drink of water. Did you have a drink of water? No, I did not. Okay, we're going to give Rhonda a drink of water and then we're going to push on. And get a bit further up the track. Next stop, Flat Rock possibly. Yeah. Hopefully. Flat Rock. You. Oh, that's very close. There we go, we just passed the sign that says high ground. Uh, not sure what it means, but it does appear that we're about to descend. Uh, we're guessing probably descend down to Flat Rock somewhere. It looks like a valley there between two mountains, so I dare say we'll probably end up down in there somewhere. Down we go. <laughs> 
Just as we descend down here, it looks like we've come into this beautiful little rock garden. Big rocks. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, the truck's still pretty good. It's been, as you can see, like this rocky sort of stuff, but I mean, it's fairly, fairly well marked and worn. Um, yeah, we're sort of moving through quite easily. Just taking our time. Pretty. We're still running along that creek line. You can hear the creek to our right. All right, looks like we're going up again. Yeah, we've descended right down to the creek line and very low light as you can see in here right in the fold of a couple of mountains but yeah very stunning very nice sound of water running through yeah very nice Big old um, strangler fig up here. And we've still got water, so that's good. As so we will need to refill for our little trek in the morning. We travelled quite light on water, expecting to follow the creek line. And here we are at the creek line again. What a spectacular example of a um, strangler fig. Amazing plants. Another little sign here, Dunk's Way. If anyone knows what that's about, drop it in the comments. Um, I haven't seen any information on that one, but um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty hot, really, but it's cool. <laughs> so we're. Um, 2 hours and 20 minute moving time and 4.17 kilometers and we've come to this beautiful little bloody waterfall. Right, oh, this is what they call flat rock. Not really um, like what we saw in the picture but I mean it's pretty cool. I don't know whether there's any camping spots here. No. It's like 500 meters to the camp spot or something. Yeah. How many k's is that? Four? Five. 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 We got 4.38 on mine. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to pull up and have a little break. Okay, so we're slowly being ascending. And now we're about to get right into it. You can see the sign there, Mount Halifax. That means leg burn in ah. language. <laughs> but we're chipping away at it, so we'll keep going. A bit of the creek line walk. This is just heading up the creek line, Rocky Creek. I'll give you a bit of a look at what it's like. So it's actually flowing underneath these rocks. You can't hear it here, but yeah, it's a little bit of flow every now and then it pops up, pops his head up. Speaking of heads, watch that baby. Um, but yeah, so you just pick your way through this little rocky part and um, Looks like we're getting up into the sunlight again, which would be nice. Pretty, um, pretty dark, some of these little pockets. Yeah, we are just before, well, not far off the um, turn off to Bridal Falls and our camp for the night. We've come across this beauty. Bloody hell, it's gonna be slippery. Yeah. yeah, it's good. This reminds me of Tully, minus the mud. Oh shit. 
Yeah, I'm good. Now, last one. We just climbed out of it. With all the water, we probably, probably can't even talk, both 19 kilos now at least. So, uh, it's gonna be worth it. So we've made it to camp one. That was hardcore. So if you're wanting to know, this is the ground you're working with at camp one. It's not exactly flat. As in not at all. <laughs> like not at all. That's okay. We're going to make it work. We're thinking about this little spot here. We'll keep you posted. We'll set up and show you. Right, hey, good morning. Yeah, we've just woken up here on the side of the mountain. Give you a bit of a look at our camp that we got to last night. So this is camp one. Uh, it's at the turn off to Bridal Falls. We'll check it out. So this was our little lounge room. Slash kitchen. Slash dining room. So it's a little small flat spot. Not too bad. Roots and all that sort of stuff there, but... Yeah, it's definitely um, not too bad compared to the steepness of the hill that we're on. As you can see, it pretty much drops off vertical right there. And down here is our little bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Uh, not too bad. No ensuite. Not too bad. No ensuite. No, there is an ensuite actually. It's just <laughs> over there, but <laughs> but. Um, not too bad as you can see we had to tie the tent on so we didn't slide down the hill and we still slid a little ways and we slid, slid about a foot there so yeah definitely make sure you tie your tents on because down you go otherwise what have we got in here hello <laughs> we got a little sleeper just having a little lane just having a little lane a little weekend lane yeah it's lovely very nice comfortable yeah I did the double mattress, mm. sneaky, sneaky. Definitely worth carrying a bit of extra weight for the double mattress. Really good. Yeah. So yeah, that's our little camp. So camp one, um, not too bad. Um, you know, like certainly better than the cliff and rocks that we've seen most of the way up. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So today we push on, we've got another uh, 1600 feet altitude to gain and um, yeah, we'll be at the summit it's a little bit overcast today unfortunately I'm hoping it sort of clears because it's a long way to walk for no view so we're gonna have some brekkie uh, we're gonna pack a little pack there we're gonna walk down to Bridal Falls and uh, yeah have spend a bit of time down there just chilling and then we'll hit the summit you another little camp spot down here it's a little small little spot looks like some people had some fires and stuff this is down the brighter falls track so if you want to go that little bit extra oh, sorry i'm in the way not a whole lot of ground but yeah, not too bad let's look see where this bridal falls is oh wow that's cool oh, yeah. huh. Beautiful little falls. There it is, Bridal Falls, Mount Halifax. This would be a stunning little one. It's just a little pickle today, but I can really get a bit over here. I've gone and done myself a bit of a mischief. <laughs> what happened? Talk yeah. us through it. Well. You know, this hiking's not for everyone. <laughs> Just cop the spear to the leg. Getting a bit of blood, even you got blood. Yeah, I got some secondhand blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing is, I'll survive. You. <laughs> and we have a first aid kit, because we do that. We do. We're well prepared for these sort of situations. Hope I don't fall down the hill doing this. Would you mind holding that for a moment? We will survive, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, mm. <laughs> that's a hectic amount of blood. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a bit of first aiding and give you an update shortly. Fly by. That's the puncture mark. Had a stick go through my leg. That's where the gators would be good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Old Archies. Quick update. We've patched the hole. <laughs> Stem the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure this is not going to stay. Okay, day two. Summit attempt, Mount Halifax. We've got our day packs on. We're much lighter today. A lot lighter today, so we're probably rocking a kilo maybe. I oh, know, it'd be three kilos. Yeah, probably three kilos because we got water, we're both full. It just feels like a kilo compared to the 20 kilos we were carrying yesterday. <laughs> but we're ready to go. We got our smelly clothes back on. Yep. Sorry Terrible. to all the other people that will be summoning today. Lucky it's not smell vision <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much straight into the climb. Straight up. Two flat steps in yeah, eight minutes. And that was so good. Yeah. <laughs> but it's taking our time, getting it done. We're starting to get some magical views. Look at that. Wow. As cool as. It's come into this cool little rock garden. These roots coming down this cliff face here are awesome. It's nice and cool. And up we go again. Just a little reprieve. Got to sanitise before you use the rope. Because we're COVID safe. Because we're COVID safe up here on Mount Halifax. And then you're going to get it. Get it, ghoul. I've reduced the height of my stick today, so it hopefully won't bang into me quite as much on the rope climb. Good strategy. It's all about strategies and planning. You can't just tackle these head on. Good form, good form. Thank you. It's much easier without a bloody a big weight on your back. The view from camp two. Keeping with themes, to get to this second camp was pretty steady rope climbs. Don't think they were as hectic as the rope climbs into camp one, but still a challenge. These. Feeling good? Yeah. You. you. <laughs> also, injury update. The band-aid lasted 600 meters. Mm. We've got it. We didn't let her. It's going in the bag, but it's just come off. But I did a bloody good job cleaning him up. Yeah. You're a good nurse. Yeah. Because I'm tall. Tall and strong. Yeah, good work. Lots of these little rock climbs. Oh Jesus, I did that log. Yeah, should have seen the way it was moving when you were pulling on it. I didn't want to say anything while you were in case it put you off. Another one of the many rope climbs on Mount Halifax. Yep. Very handy there. Yeah, they make life easier. So oh. good. Your head as you come up. Oh yeah, watch your head on that one. Oh your back back's caught, yep, you got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse. <Camp> three. Yay. <laughs> Not too bad here, there's like a little flat spot here you could put a tent out or I'd probably if you're gonna do this I'd highly recommend hammocks. Yeah. I'd there's say. plenty of good trees. So many good trees and you just use these flat spots for them, flattish spots for sitting, I suppose. But yeah, it's quite nice here. Yeah, it's nice and open, this one. And just to suit tradition, it's at the top of a pretty hectic rope number climb, number 373, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> you see why there's not a lot of footage of this track? It's hard to film and... Yeah. Um, do it. It is hard core track indeed, indeed, but take your time, chip away at it. Feeling accomplished. We're getting up into the clouds now. Yeah, I'm getting concerned about this cloud. Hopefully, um, hopefully it clears for the summit. So we've just gotten to the top of another incline, maybe 200 meters from yeah. Camp 3, yep. and it's opened up into this 
lovely different ground. Nice and flat for a moment. Gather our thoughts. I just come up on Stan's Way. If anyone knows what that's about, Stan's Way, then drop it in the comments. We'll be keen to find out. I wonder if they're named after the people that like cut in the track. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, hopefully someone knows and can tell us. Yeah. Anyway, upwards and upwards. Just a little look at the view we've got. Little glimpses of this all the way. Bloody stunning. Unless we're getting close. It's getting Sorry. very alpine. <laughs> it is. It's very narrow now. <laughs> she close. <laughs> but um, yeah, just chipping away at it. Not too bad this bit. Like it's still, we're still going up. But yeah. It's not. It's not straight up. Like yeah. It has been. But it's still climbing. But um, yeah, lots of foliage. That's for sure. Three flowers. Three flowers. Wow. At the Echo Hill. Cooey! Didn't echo. Yeah. Uh -huh. You! Maybe a bit. A little bit. So cool. But the summit is in the cloud. Which is not great, but we will wait for it to clear. Yes, hopefully. He's not being so close to my head. <laughs> Echo Hill. Pretty cool. Yeah. First real proper break. I can see some stuff. We just passed some people. We've got about 20 minutes to go. Yep. So, one hour. <laughs> With my pace. <laughs> it's a good pace. I can't help it. <laughs> it's a perfect pace. You get to see stuff. The track got nice and flat there for a little second, just along this little top of the ridge line here. And looks like we've got a bit more upwards to go. And you're getting close now. Come up this beautiful little spot. Spot in the clouds, all these tree ferns. It's been pretty hectic. We've made it to False Crest. Nice little flat spot. If you want to carry your stuff up that hell of a hill. No, not us. But it is very nice in here. It is, it's beautiful. Not far to go now. We are in the clouds though, you might notice. Not much of a view today but look, but anyway, we got nice views on the way up. And this is actually pretty cool being misty like this. Yeah, and it makes it a bit cooler, I guess. Yeah, true. Well, here we are. You! You! Sitting on top of the world. Yeah, it looks like it too. You can't see anything. But it is cloudy. Can't see a thing. But pretty awesome accomplishment. Yep. Mount Halifax. Yeah. Bloody awesome effort that. One hell of a hill. Well, I'd be interested to know if anyone's done this one and also Bartle Frere, what they think is easier. Even though Bartle Frere is higher, is it a more challenging track or is this harder? Hmm. Let us know in the comments. We're going to have a wrap and a hydrolite. Yes. And a bit of a regroup. Because we made it, baby. Woo! -hoo. Okay, we made it to the top two hours and ten minutes from camp two. One. One? Sorry, we're camped to camp one. Um, how far was it from there? Told me if my watch says three Ks. Okay, so three Ks on Rhonda's watch and on all trails it is 1.48 miles, which I think is three Ks as well. Yeah, so it's not the 1.5 we thought it was. Unless that was in miles. <laughs> Maybe it's in miles. <laughs> in fact, anyway, we... Um, had a wrap, hydrolite, and it's starting to rain unfortunately, so we're going to boost it out of here and maybe head back to Echo Also something to take note of, after False Crest comes a pretty hardcore little incline that takes you to the top, so don't think you get there and in the clear, because you get another good push. But, um, 
Yeah, as I said, unfortunately we didn't get the view today, but pretty awesome one to tick off the list. Let's go, down we go. Okay, quick update. Just got back to Echo Hill. There was a pretty awesome view here earlier. And look what we got to deal with now. So, we've got some concerns with the situation. Might be raining at the camp and we haven't really set up for rain. Keep watching to find out. You. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're in trouble. <laughs> so this has turned out uh, a true adventure. So we have come quite a way down to Camp Three now. Yes, we're back at Camp Three. And yeah, it's raining hard, raining like it was slippery on the way up. But I don't know if you can tell how wet we are drenched. Yeah, it's pretty hectic anyway. So. We uh, are guessing the camp might be flooded out. We'll see.